What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about selling antiquity furnishings that you dig up. Now I know this sounds like a crazy idea, but I did see this comment the other day and I found it kind of interesting and it kind of got me to thinking that it's not really that bad of an idea. Uh, I'm sure most of you, if you have played uh, since the antiquity system came out, you actually have access to it and you play like a lot. You, you play, you know, daily or at least several times a week. You've probably dug up the same thing over and over so many times it's not funny. It's gotten to the point where some things I don't really even fool with anymore. I just let them expire because I have so many of them already. So many of some of these pieces that I just don't feel the need to have to go dig it up. So I just let the lead expire. Would it be something that you would like to see? Uh, would it, to kind of give you the, I guess, almost make it a necessity or, you know, something that you could use for usefulness uh, to be able to dig these up and sell them in the guild trader or, or sell them in, the, you know, just in the open world. Uh, when it comes to DLC in general, if you don't own DLC, of course, you can't go to a zone. So, you know, if you don't own Graymore, you can't do the antiquity system. You can't, you don't have access to it. But if you look at all the DLCs in general, uh, you can sell the Overland gear and you can buy the Overland gear and Guild Traders from all of these DLCs, even if you don't have access to that DLC. So, for example, if you want to craft the Alfik from elsewhere, you don't own elsewhere, you can actually go in the Guild Trader and buy it, even though you don't have access to that DLC. So I thought about players that don't have access to the antiquity system, maybe would like to have some of these furnishings. Also, I mean, everybody's RNG is different just because I get one item over and over for a lead. Some other people may not. Some people may want these items. And I was kind of curious if you guys would think selling these items in the guild trader, or like I said, in the open world would be something that is useful. I think it would be, I, I, I really do. I, I think this system would really be something unique added into the game. Also, like I said, if you're like myself and you've gotten some of these pieces over and over and over and over and you just don't even fool with digging them up because you have them so many times, I think it would be some way to kind of give you an initiative to go out and do it, uh, to give you the kind of want to to go out and actually dig it up because you can actually sell it for a profit for yourself for gold. Um, I know not everybody may agree with that and that's perfectly fine, but it was something that, like I said, that I saw a comment talking about it and, and I thought, that's not really a bad idea. It's actually pretty clever in my opinion to be something that I think would be a fun thing to add to the antiquity system and it also would be like I said it would benefit you as a player because you can make some money off of it and it would also give you the uh, you know a reason to go out and dig some of these items up that you have dug up like I said several times and there's some that I, I probably could have 15 or 20 of right now if I wanted to go dig them up over and over anyway leave me a comment with your thoughts would you like to see some type of system added into the game where you could sell antiquity uh furnishings maybe only could sell some of them maybe not all of them but maybe just certain ones but leave me a comment with your thoughts of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so if you are a subscriber make sure you have notifications turned on and check out everything down in the description the community discord my twitter and of course the affiliate here on the channel empire jerky and i'll catch you all next time peace